Hi children, I am Shushmita and welcome back. Previously, you have learned about flotation and density. Now, without getting late, let us gather some information on Archimedes principle. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, you will be able to understand about buoyancy, buoyant force, Archimedes principle, keywords, buoyancy, the tendency of an object to float in fluid, buoyant force, Archimedes principle, before starting the session, let's look at this concept map. Let us understand the concept of buoyancy of considering an activity. Take an empty plastic bottle and close the mouth of the bottle with an airtight stopper. Put in a bucket filled with water. You see that the bottle floats. Push the bottle into the water. You feel an upward push. Try to push it further down. You will find it difficult to push deeper and deeper. This indicates that water exerts a force on the bottle in the upward direction. The upward force exerted by the water goes on increasing as the bottle is pushed deeper till it is a completely immersed. That is because pressure is more at the bottom and less at the top of the liquid. Now, release the bottle. It will bounce back to the surface. The force due to the gravitational attraction of the earth acts on the bottle in the downward direction. Because of this, the bottle is pulled downwards. But the water exerts an upward force on the bottle. Thus, the bottle is pushed upwards. We have learned that the weight of an object is the force due to the gravitational attraction of the earth. When the bottle is immersed, the upward force exerted by the water on the bottle is greater than its weight. Therefore, it rises up when released. To keep the bottle completely immersed, the upward force on the bottle due to water must be balanced. This can be achieved by an externally applied force acting downwards. This force must at least be equal to the difference between the upward force and the weight of the bottle. The upward force exerted by the water on the bottle is known as upthrust or buoyant force and the phenomenon is called buoyancy. In fact, all objects experience a force of buoyancy when they are immersed in a fluid.
the magnitude of this bion force depends on the density of the fluid. Archimedes principle states that when a body is partially or wholly immersed in a fluid, it experiences an upthrust or apparent loss of weight which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the immersed part of the body. Let us understand this by doing an activity. Suspend a stone from a spring balance. Note the reading on the spring balance. The reading gives the weight of the stone. Take an overflow vessel with water and place a graduated beaker below the beak. Now immerse the stone in the water. Note the reading on the spring balance and measure the volume of water that overflows into the graduated beaker. The reading of the spring balance gives the weight of the immersed stone and the beaker reading gives the volume of water displaced by the stone. We find that the apparent loss of weight of the immersed stone is equal to the weight of water displaced by the stone that is equal to the force of buoyancy exerted by the water. Points to remember. The upward force experienced by a body when partly or fully immersed in a fluid is called upthrust or buoyant force. The magnitude of the buoyant force depends on the density of the fluid. Archimedes principle states that when a body is immersed in a fluid, it experiences an upward force of buoyancy equal to the weight of fluid displaced by the immersed portion of the body. Thank you.